hello guys so this is the infinix note 30 and in this video i will show you how to do unlock boot loader plus custom recovery get boot image and also plus images okay all the step and file i'll provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay so make sure to follow all the step and if you fail to follow the step it will make your pawn break okay so make sure to flash the right file and also the right step okay the step also can be used for the infinix note 30 pro same step just different file okay i will put also the file for the note 30 pro and this one the infinix note 30 Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys, assalamualaikum. We meet again with Om Bob, and now in my hand I have the Infinix Pawn. This is the Infinix Note 30. With the code name is X six eight three B. Okay, so in this video I will show you how to flash custom recovery and also root this pawn using images okay so uh this tutorial also can be applied on the redmi note 30 same step but different file okay <clears throat> i'll provide all the file for the note 30 and note 30 pro in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay First thing to do let's check the let's go to the settings <clears throat> and my pawn you can see right here and, uh, you can see the device name model and other stuff okay and root routine first thing you need to do is enable the developer options okay so you need to hit the build number five times then go back <clears throat> go to the settings and developer option okay so from here you need to enable the OM unlock okay just for information this pawn has been unlocked so I don't need to unlock again but I will tell you anyway the step okay to enable the OM unlock you need to, uh, to create the transition account okay transition account mean that account that can be used on Infinix Techno and other Infinix group okay so you open the IM unlock insert the or create the account and you should uh, wait for seven days yeah if I'm not mistaken but if you already create the account you don't need to wait for seven days okay that's the first step <clears throat> the next one enable the um, USB debugging I already enable it and make sure to remove all emails okay because if you forget it will, it will lock the device or it's called the frp <clears throat> okay and then next step uh let's switch to the computer and plug the usb cable okay so now let's flash the custom recovery okay you simply just copy and paste the command right here And I'm going to use the orange fox because I'm using <coughs> a ladies person. Okay, this one. Uh, as you seen before, I'm using the version 3535. Okay, if you're using the old version, you should try use the TRP. If your touch screen become error, you should try to change it between this one and this one. Okay, orange fox and TRP. <coughs> Okay, now let's boot it into the custom recovery. Fast boot, space reboot. After you hit enter, hold and press the follow up. Okay, let's try it. Enter, follow up. <coughs> try to press about uh, five seconds, and <coughs> it will boot it into the custom recovery. Okay, nice. Okay, now we are in the custom recovery. First thing you need to do is go to the 
this menu backup okay new backup and go to the option right here okay i will change the brightness first where is it uh display this one okay go to the backup right here new backup <clears throat> go to the option tab and have a compression for a smaller size and let's select the boot image and free ram and free data and cfg versus okay this is contain the image and baseband <clears throat> and swipe it okay uh, you should back up to your micro sd and if you haven't <coughs> got your micro sd simply copy to your computer okay now hit the home button right here go to the install navigate uh to a folder I put it into the micro SD and go to the not 30 folder <coughs> and <coughs> now I'm going to flash the flash be meta disable okay select the file swipe it okay this is mandatory but you should install it if you uh planning to use the GSI or custom ROM PB meta already disabled because I already installed before. Okay. Now let's just hit reboot system. After this, we want to rename the backup boot image and patch it using images. Okay, now we are in the home screen. Okay, let's go to the file manager right here. My pawn SD card. And navigate to Fox put it in here okay this is the node 30 before and we're going to copy and rename the file okay let's copy and <clears throat> let's put it to the internal threads put it into the document folder right here and paste it okay done and navigate again my pawn internal storage document and rename the file okay select the file option rename uh rename it into the uh put image okay okay done and the next step is uh, this one is too large for my hand <laughs> let's install magis the apk select apk right here uh where is it uh, uh this one this is the latest one magis alpha 2702 okay give it permission Let's wait until it finish. Open it, and then select install right here. Select and patch file. <coughs> Navigate where you have renamed the boot image. Okay, put it into the internal storage document. This one, and let's go. Okay, it will start patching the boot image, and the results are in the download folder. Okay, now let's switch the screen again. And now from here, navigate to the uh, phone, internal storage, and download. Okay, this is the boot image that has been patched. And paste it into your computer. Okay. Then let's open the CMD, put it into the Facebook again. okay let's wait and when it's put it into the best boot you can flash the modify boot image okay just click and break the file and let's put reboot
Hey, now let's wait until it boots again to the home screen. And here we go, now we are in the home screen again. So I have installed several apps, yeah, yeah, uh, root beer, uh, root checker, and empty manager. Okay, let's open the menus. And here we go, now we have a working menus right here. And let's check using the advanced root checker. We are in Phoenix, uh, no 30 is rooted. Okay, nice. Now let's try open empty manager. I want to see that uh, okay there is a super user request it means that the root access is working yeah guys so from here you can install model okay such as mali pager I'll post and other stuff and you can play around from here okay let's flash smiley pager <coughs> and also let's install the uh, elbows uh, where is it? the elbows this one and also if you want to install kernel manager uh, it will be nice <coughs> okay also usually install some echo okay that's all guys i hope it helps you and for the make next video maybe i will make a video how to make the file sim from read only to read write and also flash custom recovery and also custom rom okay that's all i hope it helps you see you in the next video wassalamualaikum